is jou goed voel aan wijd program, dit is immers expres. Ons is so blij, jy is saam met ons op hierdie dinsdag ochend, en ons wacht vir jou oproep van ochend, terwyl Dr. Darren Green in ons warmstoel sit, waar hy is hier om al jou antwoorde te gee, op al jou vraag wat jy dalk het van ochend, 0839133728 is ons nummer, as jy vir ons wil deurbel, well, we talked about stinky feet earlier, and now we're talking about hyperhidrosis. So, doctor, what is that? That's not right there. When you perspire ah. or sweat too much, in other words, you have excessive sweating, mm. which you'll notice on your hands, on your feet, and even on, on, on your, uh, the soles of your feet, basically. So uh, you, you then will find, obviously, everyone related to your activity might raise your body core temperature, because the purpose of sweating is actually to cool you down. Mm. You know, the ambient temperature of the environment on the cold water on the surface cools you down when you're hot. Well, if, if it's excessive, what yes. causes it? Yeah, so we have conditions where... For example, the nerve supply to the sweating glands in the armpit and anywhere else mm. basically is is dysfunctional. In other words, the, the regulation of, of releasing that sweat is, is, is faulty. Often there's an emotional trigger associated right. with as in anxiety. Mm -hmm. But often it's... Excitement. A, it's a, it's, yeah, exactly, excitement. Mm. And, and sometimes it's just a genetic... A genetic predisposition to mm. sweating more than others. Okay. Why is it called the silent handicap? Well, you know, it's, it's something you haven't done to deserve or get. Mm. And it's something that you're not often aware of. You know, if you, even in the bathroom, in the, in the loo, you, your own session in the toilet never smells as bad to you as yeah, it does to someone else. So you learn to live with that smell and you become accustomed to mm. it. So when you develop then things like BO or body odour, you're not aware of it, and it's really tough, because socially you then find people are rejecting you, and you, mm. you know, the psychological issues. No, we shouldn't reject people that have that, because it's, of well, it's not. a smell, and some people can't help it. But is there Correct. any way to treat it? I mean, I'm thinking immediately yes. that you can do it from inside, and not just from the outside. Okay, so from the inside, what you eat and drink, in other words, the, the, the composition of your sweat is important. Drink lots of fluids. Mm. In other words, detox. Get a lot of the toxins out of your, out of your system. Dr. Jammer, I'm your We do have a caller this oh, morning. Good. So Maggie is on the line. Maggie, what's your question or comment? Yes. Good morning. You're live on Expresso. Morning. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for your show because it's really great and everything. Oh, you're welcome. Um, I <laughs> I just, um, I have this really bad sweaty uh, problem, so mm. to say. It's been like that since I was a little girl. I, mm. I shave, I put baby powder even like under my um, breast, so to say, to keep it dry because I notice it gives me that itchiness all the time. And my feet also, I change my socks constantly to keep it dry. I even like bought these little things to put inside the socks to keep it dry as well. But mm. I still have this sweetiness problem. Mm. My sweet glands are out of control. I just, I don't know mm. what else to do with it. Maggie, thanks for your question and for opening up. I want to tell you this morning that you're not alone. And that's why we Certainly. talk about these issues on the show. We yes. really appreciate your question. Doctor, any answer to Maggie? And she joins one of thousands. Mm. So... It's important to know that that nerve supply to the sweating glands is what I'm talking about. And the autonomic nervous system does that on an automatic basis. Mm -hmm. So for her, if that regulation is not happening, obviously what people then do, the options that they look at are things like uh, Botox, for mm -hmm. example, of those ganglions that control that region of sweating under the armpits in, mm -hmm. the, in the feet, for example. There are other surgeries that are a little bit more hectic that remove the actual nerve supply to those areas. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that is a life-changing procedure and event for, for many people. We're well, talking about life-changing. We will be answering more of your questions. And Maggie, stay with us. We're actually going to touch on that again. And I want to highlight Botox because um, yes. it is actually something that, well, is designed for that. It's actually not cosmetic. So stay with us. We're also going to talk about bad breath, halitosis, and how oh. we can make sure that we can speak to people without them running away. ZBZ, over to you.